Peace to Prosperity, a gathering of diplomats, executives, and billionaires in Bahrain, was built as an opportunity to promote reconciliation between Palestinians and Israelis. Spearheaded by U.S. President Donald Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law Jared Kushner, the conference intended to offer a wide-ranging package of economic incentives and investments to end the conflict. This is about creating opportunity for the Palestinian people. This is about creating opportunity for the people throughout the Middle East. If implemented correctly and competently, the economic plan I will go through now will lead to growth and better lives. However, the Palestinian Authority boycotted the event and the Israeli government was not invited. Palestinian officials have widely derided the conference as failing to offer sustainable solutions. The uh, economic peace, which has been presented before repeatedly and which has failed to materialize because it does not deal with the real components of peace, um, is being presented once again, recycled once again, and presented in a, in a very, as I said, disingenuous manner. It's an insult to our intelligence. Kushner's plan calls for $50 billion in investment to improve Palestinian lives. Without a political roadmap, however, many remain doubtful the lofty goals can be reached. This is an economic plan that, if it's implemented, is obviously going to do enormous benefit to the Palestinian people. Number two, obviously, it isn't a substitute for the politics. And this has got to be said very clearly because of the way people misinterpret things. And as the proposal does not mention Israel's blockade of Gaza or the Israeli occupation of the West Bank, the road to peace looks likely to remain long and arduous. Philip Oera, TRT World.